Walgreens for the first time. I got this cute little 100 eyeshadow palette sort of dealio by some brand called Profusion. It's a present to give my stepsister for her birthday. She's just getting into makeup. She's 15. She's going to turn 15. And these are really cool, like, metally chic colors. And you have so many eyeshadows in here, it's kind of overwhelming. But this is the perfect gift for a young girl. It's not like amazing quality which is not bad because I mean they're younger anyways. When I was in Mall of America Minneapolis I hit up a Kiehl's store. A lot of the Kiehl's products are so much cheaper in America than they are here. The first thing I got was the Ultra Facial Moisturizer. I have tried this in the past. It actually is a really good moisturizer and in the Kiehl's store in Mall of America it was $35 if you're thinking that's pretty steep, first of all, this, this thing is 250 mils, which is will last you a long time. And second of all, in Canada, for the same size of the Daily Facial Moisturizer, guess how much they were charging? $54. No joke. Same product, same size. $54 in Canada, $35 in America. It's like it's mind-blowing to me how they can do that. Anyway, so my skin's been super dry lately. I've been getting like a lot of gross flakiness happening in my forehead. One thing I got was an ultra facial cleanser. This is for all skin types and it's just a really nice gentle formula that will help with my dryness. Even though it's foaming, it's not going to strip my skin. It's specifically made to clean the skin without over drying or stripping it. So it's just a gentle liquid formula. And what's great to use that with is the Clarisonic Mia from my mama. She was very generous to me this year and gifted me this awesome skincare tool. It's a Sonics cleansing system, so it just like vibrates and twirls or whatever, the bristles, to deep cleanse your pores. It, um, it just sloops off all that dead, flaky stuff. So anyway um to go with it you need a cleanser i didn't like the cleanser that it came with so to go with it i got this one this clarisonic mia it's changed my life like it's changed the way i've thought about skincare it's changed the way my products react with my skin it's improved the texture of my skin i used to have a lot of problems with uneven skin texture like a lot of bumps and now already I see results. I'm so happy. I don't think getting the big ones necessary unless you have body acne that you want to address but if you're just using it solely for the purpose of your face the Mia is just as good in my opinion as the Clarisonic Plus and the good thing about it is, is this one's a lot cheaper but does just but does the same thing so that's why I was looking for a new cleanser and to go with my new Clarisonic. So I hit up Macy's like not even kidding like five times and each time I bought something new. They were having amazing after Christmas sales. Let me tell you, so many things were on sale. Oh lord, look at this mess. But anyway, I got silver, sterling silver chain six chains, <laughs> necklace chains, 16 inches each for like originally these bad boys are 36. I got them 50% off. So I got two for the price of one basically. Amazing deals. I needed chains to go with some of the pendants that I was buying individually that needed something extra, extra. And these chains are gorgeous. And they're sterling silver and they were 50% off. Can I get better than that? No. Maybe I can if they were free. Yeah. So another thing I got at Macy's was the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the new packaging. Um, I love the Primer Potion. I got to test it out with my Naked palette. Um, it came with a little baby size, so I tested it out, immediately loved it, loved the way it changed the way my eyeshadows applied, so, and the way they lasted, how long they lasted, so I got a big size for, let's just throw everything today. This bad boy was 40% off, and it was already clear as marked. This is the cutest purse in the world, I'm not even joking. It's... I don't really care what brand it is, I just fell in love with the details and the shape of it. So this is what it looks like, right? Just really cute. Kind of reminds me of a Michael Kors purse, actually. In the front, though, why I really liked it are these super cool zippers going all the way down, like here and here. Super cute. You got like this canvasy material that's really soft that has all these little exos. Then I even loved the little detailing of the strap there. Isn't that cute? Then you just have like a simple strap. 
sits on your shoulder, looks like this on me. So it's like really comfortable. It just fits me really nice. It just sits on my shoulder. It's so big that it can hold like school books and stuff. So I love that about it. Anyway, it's so big inside. I have all this stuff that I want to show you inside of it, but the inside is just like this cute distressful leather with pockets and something cool if you want to like expand it to be a night bag. There's a button here that pops open and then you get like so much more room to stuff it full with more things. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? If you're like me and you carry practically your whole life in your purse, then this purse is awesome. You can literally carry so many things. And you get like a workout. You can use it as a workout because you can like do lifts with it. Sometimes my purses get so heavy, I swear they're like 10 pounds each. It's ridiculous, but I love it. Okay, so I feel like Santa Claus pulling things out of my purse. But these are things that I got from Macy's that were also on sale. This super soft scarf. When I was buying it, I honestly, not going to lie, I thought it was cashmere. Turns out it isn't, but whatever. It's so cool. This gorgeous, you know traditional style scarf. I really don't know how to describe that. Checkered? No, like crisscross? I don't really know. It's got cute fringes on the bottom, but ivory with some tan accents and it matches my purse really well. Look at that. Cuteness. It's so soft. Like, I love soft things. I probably look so creepy there, but it's so soft. I just want to like lay in it and live in it. And... I love it. Okay. Another thing I got from Macy's, 50% off, woo woo, socks. You're like, really, why are you going to show me socks? I thought I could show you them because, um, Ralph Lauren, look at that. I got Ralph Lauren socks. Now I'm balling. These were some ridiculous price, but after all the sales and stuff, I got them at a good price. So, six pack of Ralph Lauren socks. Thanks, Macy's. I stopped over at H&M in Mall of America. This is this cute cowl neck shirt. I'm a sucker for cowl necks, so anytime I can get a cowl neck, I will. It's this really cool slinky material too. That's what I loved about it, that it just felt really great on the skin. And you can't beat the price, girlfriend. Look at $5. $5 clearance. Thank you. I think it was like, yeah, it was $17.95 original. I got this really cute hairpin for 5 bucks, I think, or maybe it was 50% off, but how cute would that be in the hairstyle that I have now? It's this really pretty rose with like gold trim on the edges of the petals. And isn't that just so cute? From Forever 21, I got these basic long sleeve t-shirts. On a daily basis, I'm just like a chill kind of girl. I wear really relaxed clothing that's really comfy. I'm not a stylista, fashionista, whatever. I'm very much like more into makeup than fashion. So when it comes to fashion, unfortunately, yeah, I do do like lazy clothes like this. But this is good for a nice winter day. It's really soft malange uh, material. So I got it in like a purple, dusty purple I would say, and then a turquoise. Okay, and then the last clothing item I got that I want to show you is this shirt. Hey! I got it from H&M. Um, this is a deal. Listen up. This was like 38 original on sale for 15 clearance and I got it for 7 bucks because I'm going to warn ya, my chest looks a little poppin' in this shirt. <laughs> anyway, I love this shirt. It's like bat sleeves. So it's got like, you know, it's really flowy. It's got these pretty floral design. Oh, whoa, <laughs> all up in there. And yeah, it just looks really cute, I think. Then it opens up into this, like, cinches at the waist sort of deal, and then it flows away from the body. So, yeah, so it looks like pretty cool, right? I thought it was cute anyway when I tried it on. So I went to one that sold Lancome. They were having a deal that day I went shopping where you buy one gift set and get it 50% off. So I got it for 17, yeah, 17 bucks almost. So, after taxes. Isn't that cool? This is from Lancome, the Most Wanted Eyes gift set. So all the gift sets that they would have had out for Christmas, they were trying to like get rid of, right? So this has a Genifique Concentrate for the eye, a deluxe sample size of Hypnos Drama, sample size of Le Grand Cole Black Ebony, which I do have, and a sample size of Bifacil makeup remover. Oh, right. I went to Victoria's Secret and I bought like tons of bras and tons of underwear 
and that was a big purchase but we don't have Victoria's Secret here so I kind of went crazy but the bras are just amazing quality and I had the greatest sales lady helping me try on all my bras I got my perfect size and just I had the best experience in Victoria's Secret in Mall of America so definitely check that store out if you're a girl and you're looking for new bras good quality too okay so the last thing is an Ulta I went and hit up the Ulta in Fargo Okay, I actually forget where I got these lip pencils from, but they were in my Ulta bag, so maybe I got them from Ulta. I'm not sure. They are two Jordana lip pencils. This one is in terracotta, and the other one is in... What is that? Natural. So they're basically to go with nude lipsticks. Okay, and the next thing I got was from OPI. It's a nail polish called Lincoln Park After Dark. It's this really pretty dark 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 almost black purple I got this to be to act as a base um, I'm gonna paint my nails Lincoln Park after dark and then on top I'm gonna put faucets of fuchsia by Revlon that I showed you in the haul part one of this state's haul I think that's a gorgeous combo and I can't wait to try it okay the last products are all from NYX or NYX I picked up this glitter cream palette this is in the number one paradise isn't this all these colors totally jumped out at me. They were so gorgeous. It looks like that. You got a gorgeous glittery pink in there, a black, white, gold, and silver. These are all cream glitters. So what it is is like chunky glitter set into a cream base. So you're able to just pick it up with your finger or a brush and put it on. This was really random. I didn't plan on buying this. It's a NYX whew, Ultra Pearl Mania. It's a loose eyeshadow pigment. It's so gorgeous. So it's the first loose eyeshadow that I've ever bought in before, so let's see how it works. Next I got the NYX HD High Definition Eyeshadow Primer, where it's supposed to be high definition. I don't really know how true that is, but... Yeah, so, got that. And then the last thing I picked up, I kind of went a little bit crazy with these, because I thought they were a really cool concept. I got the NYX soft matte lip creams in four different um, colors. They all have city names as their names so I'll go over them individually. This one's a really cute pinky nude in Istanbul. This one is really bold called Monte Carlo. It's a really deep whiny red. This one's a really bright red. This one's called Amsterdam and this one's more of a nude color called Stockholm. This one I'm excited about. Okay, and then the last thing I got was from Sephora. I picked up the, like I said, in the winter I'm getting really, really dry and I needed something to set my makeup because I can't use powder anymore. That just settles into the flakiness, all nasty. So I got a setting spray. This is Urban Decay by Scandinavia in Dumi. So it's a moisturizing setting spray. And where this one gives you a more dewy look and makes your skin look nice and glowy. And then the last thing I got was supposed to be in my drugstore haul, but I guess I threw it in my Sephora bag by accident. It's this Cocoa Butter Hand and Body Lotion from Walmart. It's nice and quaint for travel size. Um, yeah, it smells like cocoa or like even like coconut almost. It smells good. It smells tropical. And I need it for my dry, dry, dry hands and any other area of my body that needs extra lotion. So this is great to throw in your purse. Especially when you have a brand spanking new huge ass purse. Just to throw it in there. <laughs> That's my haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products I mentioned, please don't hesitate to comment below. This is Kyra from Kyra Miosa 29. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a great day. Bye!